Hey guys, do not try this at home. So someone made a comment on my declutter video about how I should keep the things I don't want. And then I thought, I have beakers and things. So I'm going to take these apart and combine them and see what happens. And I may have to use heat. I'm not sure yet. I don't know what is gonna happen to the viscosity or the elements of this. We may have to add heat. I don't wanna to add too much heat because I don't want it to chemically break down and but then I might add some like skincare ingredient. Like I might add vitamin E and vitamin C but again, I don't want to screw with the viscosity too much. So we're going to take the cream products and we're going to combine them. And I've sterilized everything. And the powder products, we're going to smash into oblivion because we can. What I find the most interesting right now is I'm using my thermodynamics textbooks. To hold up my camera. This is, this is, I did not think this through. That was very anticlimactic. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to be in the window here. Oh, that's not right. That's not right at all. I probably should have put a piece of paper underneath this. <clears throat> that would have been smarter. But that's okay. Oh, now it's on the floor. Ooh, I might be able to pour some back in there. This is getting exciting.
Okay, so I did like a double boiler. <laughs> um, there's a very, very low heat. Very, very low heat. Uh, and smoke started coming out of this like very quickly. <laughs> Which, I'm, I mean, there's obviously liquid in here, so I figured that would come off really fast. I was just trying to use a little bit of heat to get it to form better. <clears throat> yeah, it, it, this is the most interesting scent, okay? It kind of smells like crayons, but in like a really good way. Not like the creepy crayon way, in like the really good crayon way. Which now is there. Okay. Yeah, it's, it doesn't smell bad, but it, it smells kind of, it's like vanilla crayon something floral, but very lightly floral. It's, um, oh, I, like, I can't place it. It's so, it's very interesting. I mean, it's not bad. It's just very interesting. So now... We are, I can't really hold this correctly because it's warm. We're going to put some in a pan. In, in theory, in theory, we're going to put some in a pan. Doesn't this look appetizing? I don't know if you can see this. It's kind of hot, so I have only limited amounts of room. We are going to attempt to I even have like a syringe like over there where I could soak it up and put it in all nice and pretty but this is just what's happening right now so I, I don't really I can't swatch it because it's it's hot obviously and it needs to dry down and things This is not a, necessarily a bad color so far. It's more of like a whipped moussey texture, but Okay, so there's one. Just let that dry. I'm just gonna fill up the other tins and then we'll see what happens. Okay. Okay. It's, it's been a wee bit here. We're gonna swatch it on the back of my hand and see what happens. I don't know what texture that oh okay well okay that's a that's like a moosey texture all right all right here we go I don't think it's done drying that's that's got some pigment to it yeah I'm wearing like a crappy shirt, so it's okay. Like this is like an experiment shirt, so. Huh. 
It's not bad. I shall name this color Beaker. Interesting. I wonder if it's waterproof. That's really not that bad. Hmm, let's check natural lighting. It's dried down beautifully. It's not sticky at all. It pretty much went from like a mousse to a powder with like an interesting sheen to it. Not glitter, but definitely some light reflecting particles. I don't know. I really like it. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to come off or stain my hand, but it's really interesting because the pan and what it dries down to is very different. Huh. I dub the shade Beaker. Huh. This is actually really interesting. Okay. I'll keep you posted. Or for part two of this project, we're going to smash the dry blushes together and then I'm going to pan, press them in a pan, but I am going to have to use a bonding agent to get it to set down and so this might take a wee bit, but let's start smashing. Not aware there was a mirror under here. <laughs> that's that's fun. That's fun. <laughs> My empties video is going to be awesome. I'm going to have to wear, like, my panning crown at this point. Like, how many can you pan in one day? Well, let's see. My niece left this at my house. And no longer wants it. That means it's fair game for me to destroy. <laughs> oh, you know what I should do? I should have put the cream blush here and then like the powder blush there and made like a two thing, you know? That way I could pretend to be fancy or I could just use my 3D printer and make my own container, which might be easier in the long run. But yeah, I could probably do like the, put the cream blush here and with like a thing over it and then the powder there. Like this has, it's still on my hand by the way. Oh, you can't see my hand, it's okay. Da, 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 that's, take this apart. Don't worry, I clean everything after the last one. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to Bonding agent is going to take a while. Ooh. Don't like that one. Oh, sorry, Miss Butterfly. But I need, I need you. Do you smell? Wow, that's scented. Okay. Smells like butter. <laughs>
This one has big particles of glitter in it, so I really don't want to put that in there. I don't know if they're... Uh, those pieces are kind of big, and I don't really want to deal with it. So this is what we have currently. I'll come back to you when I'm done mixing. So this is what we are currently at. I'm going to put some in here and press it down, but it's gonna probably stay very loose, like I said, until I put the bonding agent on it. So, I mean, obviously, using lucite and having like the same pressure distributed over it would be an ideal situation but for now this is what we have to work with Okay, so that's uh, smashed in there. Like I said, there's no bonding agent. So if I like drop this, it will shatter. So yeah, that's it without the bonding agent. So let's watch this sucker and see what happens. Okay, um, I forgot I had the other blush on and I washed my hands. So it's still there. <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay, okay. Let's swatch this and we'll we'll see. That's interesting. Okay, this one this one smells like um like the butter scent. This is a little obviously drier. It blends out pretty good. I don't know if it's really buildable though. Let's see. I don't know if I can like build this up. Maybe. Let's put a little bit on top of the other one and see if it like goes together really well. That mousse with that powder on top and, oh, okay. That's the combination right there. I'm gonna have to put the mousse and then the powder in the same container to get that effect. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so there's that, there's that, and then the part where it overlaps. Wow, that's really interesting. I think my experiment turned out really well. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe and give me a like and a thumbs up. Which I obviously really need to redo my nails, but that's okay. And I will see you guys later. Bye.